Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is the Dwarf Fortress video tutorial 2010 part 5. In the previous episode I talked a lot about uh, the hospitals and before that I talked about how to send your military to attack stuff in the new version. In this episode we'll be talking about military systems for more. There's some of the... look at the, the advanced features of it and how to set it up. That's because it can be uh, quite complicated. Um, first let's show me a you show you my little fortress I built uh, for this video. Uh, it's an outside seaside fortress. This is the sea. As you can see, there's waves uh, whirling into the shore and washing up on the beach. And there's even uh, stuff like driftwood and pebbles on the beach. It's a very nice location. If only the ocean didn't freeze over in the winter. But, well, that's not really a big problem. Uh, anyway, bec yeah, because it's not a problem because I have an indoor lake here. Um, anyway, uh, let's yeah I'll give you a little tour of this fortress. So this is the top level. I've uh, got some other stuff planned down here. Um, the first level with some stocks in my farms, more stocks and wood, uh, finished goods. Uh, gems, living quarters, my hospital, jails, uh, stone stuffs, uh, this used to be forging, some open areas, uh, noble quarters, which very nice rooms with electrum stuff in them, electrum statues, electrum chests, only the bed is different, can't make electrum beds. Uh, here are my sleeping quarters, which I still need to finish. And then a long way down, all the way down to level 109, apparently, here are my magma forges, which uh, are near a pool over here. As you can see, I built a little path here to my forges, and uh, they're working nicely. Anyway, uh, I'm going to show on with the military, pausing for a sec. Okay, so the military. The military in uh, Dwarf Fortress 2010 is very complicated. Uh, just look at the military menu. Uh, there's a ton of options here and it took me a long time to learn it and understand how the fuck this worked. But um, I got it down and I'll try to explain it to you uh, as easy as I can. Um, well, to first to start off I'll make a new squad. So we can use that, and uh, that's what everyone needs to do anyway. So, uh, first I need to set a militia captain. You do that at the noble screen, and you select a missile uh, a captain like this, and choose one of your dwarves, which is free. Okay, I already selected uh, Rubido. Rubido uh, as my squad captain earlier. Um, so now I'm gonna set a squad for him. Pressing M, and here is the militia captain. This is, should be Rubida's squad, he just doesn't have a squad yet. Um, but I can make give him one with the C for create squad. And now I'm yeah, I get the, the option of what type of uniform he wears. Um, I made a unit form before, which is called Iron Guard, which uh, is only for my fortress. This, these are the three standard options. Standard you should go with leather or metal. Uh, for now, I'm going with this Iron Guard, and I'll explain the uniforms later. Um, well, there is a guard. Here's Jin, the militia captain, which should be Rubido, which is lost in this giant list of dwarves. Wait a second. Okay, done. Um, that took a while. Anyway, Rudio, Rudabeo. Ruby Doe is in the squad. I shouldn't have picked a name with a dwarf with a hard to pronounce name. Uh, anyway, now I'm gonna add some other squad, other dwarfs to his squad. Um, making sure that he's not in another squad already. Like, uh, well, this hunter is free. This miner is free. This guy isn't free to recruit. Um, let's do some. Well, five should be enough for now. Um, now to do some of the more advanced stuff with it. Uh, to get all this rolling, you need to set a couple of things first. I've got my sword and uh, I need to go to alert. But before that, let's set a burrow again. 
I um, explained this briefly in the, in the previous episode, you need to set a burrow, uh, which is a zone where the dwarves can enter and go it's, and defend it or stay inside the fortress. It's pretty complicated. Uh, basically, for starters, uh, I've made this burrow called Entrance. I did it basically this way. You make a new burrow with A, then press Enter, and you can select the area which is the burrow like this that works easy enough um, now let me remove that because I don't need a second one in here anyway like that I make the entrance bureau which is basically the ground floor of my fortress which is uh, the area I wanted my dwarves to defend so uh, yeah when you create a bureau at least make one uh, where you want uh, the dwarves to defend now I have that done and uh, now I can go in the military to alert and here is are all my squads and on the left here are the three alert levels that I have you start with two inactive and active training and um, I should explain this better alert levels are like uh, you know, basically the, the alert level your squad is set to it's set to uh, do nothing at all uh, do go training or yeah, full panic mode and uh, defend the fortress and it's just something you can switch with the squads too if you go to the squads menu like with S here's my squad A and with the T button I can switch between the training modes like panic, inactive, active training now it's in training um, back to the alerts now these, so these are the alert levels you start off with inactive and active training and it's very smart to make another one and call it panic or whatever you want to call it uh, make a new one with C and you can rename it with N I'm calling this one panic which is panic in Dutch um, and deleting it also because I have no use for it anyway um, now I have these three alert levels and now I can go schedule my squad be between the alert levels so different menu again S for schedule I hope you can keep up guys this is a very complicated part of the game um, let's see here's the, t uh, the schedule menu here are my squads at the, at the top rows uh, you only see three right now uh, yes, there's the fourth one if you press plus and minus um, and uh, what you also notice that the schedule at the moment is active training and yeah, in this schedule every squad is training uh, these things are the months basically this is January, February, March, April, Dushin Dwarf Talk and um, you can set your dwarfs to do something different every month uh, which makes it pretty nice um, and you can switch between the alerts which is important with these two star and slash I think and as you can see there's different alerts levels there's active training uh, here's the panic I made and inactive which does nothing well, let's go to the panic alert level that I made as you can see here uh, the squads are all defending the burrows and yeah this is my defense option uh, I set my squads to panic, then they all go defend the burrows, and the burrows, uh, if I e press E for edit order, E for edit order, it just defend the entrance burrow which I made. So, uh, to show you what I've done basically, when I go to a squad in the squad menu, press A, the squad, turn it to T, panic, then it that squad will start defending this upper layer, the entrance and defending my fort and um, I'm starting to run out of time already and I'm not nearly done yet um, I will think I'll have to go for part 2 already Yeah. Um, so more to come in part 2 of advanced military